My name is Vito Scaletta. I was born in Sicily in 1925. That little guy's me. I'm standing there with my parents and my sister Francesca in front of our old house. I don't really remember too much about the old country, except that we were pretty hard up. And then one day my father decided it was time to move away. from Sicily, across the ocean, to start a new life in America. dream it was more like a nightmare my father started working at the port for the guy who arranged our immigration it was backbreaking work and what little money he made mostly went towards booze eventually my parents sent me to school I had to learn English I sure as hell wasn't gonna do that in a neighborhood full of Italians that's where I met Joe you don't hurry it up we ain't got all night over time, Joe and I got to be best friends. And since we were both poor and there wasn't much work around, shit, we started a little business of our own. Freeze! Police! Stop! Vito, this way! Throw me to bed! Stop! Run the shoes! Shit. Okay, you bastard. Spread your legs. Fuck. And put your hands on the... I'm sorry. Well, that one time it didn't work out so good. The year was 1943. America was at war. And the army was looking for guys who spoke the language to help with the invasion of Sicily. I was 18. And anything seemed better than jail. Who says you can't go home again? On the 11th of July, we were supposed to be dropped over the southern coast of Sicily. We got hit by flak and had to bail out. Way behind enemy lines. Only three of us made it. If it wasn't for the local resistance, we wouldn't have had a chance. So when Mussolini soldiers came into the town and started rounding everybody up, we decided to return the fair. Se nessuno parla, quest'uomo morirà. All right, Scaletta, take the shot. Allora, traditori, pensavate di poterci prendere in giro? Di tradirci? Avete pensato male? Vi facciamo vedere noi come trattiamo i traditori. They're falling back. Let's move. On me. Get up here, Scaletta. Shit. Look at that. Shit. Ah! 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 This guy's saying there's more troops headed this way. Ain't getting through this way. Looks like we found the machine gun. Watch it. You got a grenade, Scaletta. This would be a great fucking time to use. Through 
Coletta, you alive? Yeah, just about. Well, then get off your ass and let's move it. Whoa, whoa. Grab all the ammo you can carry. Whoa. This Dude, might be our last chance. Upstairs. Lara, you take point. Uccidete right gli ostaggi! Crepa schifo! The door, Scalena. Kick it in. Arrenditi, o gli faccio saltare il cervello. Shit. Looks like we're going this way. Come on, then. Give us a fuck, just keep shooting! What the hell's the boat like I'm doing? Dude, more shooting, less talk! Hey! Sidi! Montano, you bossy! Picchiate, mi chesso! See that gun on the balcony, Scaletta? Get on it! Let's go! Get on that machine gun! Sidi, they're full loaded! If these guys get inside, we're fucked! Cacetto, un congetto quando si maritava i cucini. Ma chi è quello? Lo conoscete? Eh, lo conoscono tutti. Don Calò è un uomo d'onore. È uno stupido trucco degli americani, non ditemi che gli credete. No, è davvero Don Calò. Ogni tanto dovessi ascoltare i consigli di noi altri del posto. Ci rendiamo. Sapete che potete fedarvi di me. Che ne dite, eh? Don Calò, il head of the Sicilian mob. An entire garrison of troops surrendered that day. Why? Because he told them to.
few years later, the Nazis put a bullet in me. I was in the hospital for a bit. Then I got a month's leave so I could go home. At least for a little while. Come home, buddy. How'd you know? I got my sauces. Come on, let's take a ride. Nice car. Comes with the territory. I know you're itching to get home, but first, let's get a beer. Yeah, sure. Empire Bay. Tell the truth, you miss it? Hey, there's a bear shit in the woods. Not like this place ever done me any favors, but anything's better than a foxhole. What's with this shitty weather? They're saying this is the coldest winter on record. Papers say it's gonna keep up like this for weeks. Don't worry, though. A drink will warm you right up. How long's it been since we had a drink together, Vito? Two years? <laughs> Almost three. Tony Sicelli's party, right? Come on, Vito. Come on. The last drink we had together was right after your romance funeral. Right before you shipped out. You remember. Ah, uh, five minutes. We're already talking about my deadbeat father. Can we change the subject, please? So tell me, pal. What was it like over there, anyway? I kept reading the papers to see what was going on. And you know how much I hate read? Yeah, I know. You guys kicked Mussolini's ass, right? Ah, uh, sort of. We had a little help from a guy named Don Carlo. No shit. Don Carlo. I heard of him. Really? You bet. I know guys like him over here, wise guys. You work for them, you set. You fuck with them, you die. Nice to see you've been busy. Yeah, and I heard you got a medal, right? From old man Pat himself. Whoa, so you're a real war hero, huh? <laughs> and then what? You screwed a couple of Sicilian broads and came home? Yeah, right. <laughs> the old country. Over here, you can screw anything with a heartbeat. No one gives a shit. What a country. Here's to the U.S. of A. and to having you back home. Salud. Ah, salud. Chin down. How come you back? They let you out. Here we are. All right, thanks. Keep the change. Is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Man, it doesn't show signs of stopping. And hey, what's the good word? How you doing, soldier? A lot better now that I'm home. You, you want to leave or snow, home for good? That's, uh, classified. When so, uh, what's new around here? Tell the truth, not much. Everybody just wants the war to be over. And they're saying this is the coldest winter on record. 
I wish I had some good news. All the way home, I'll be warm. Yeah, you and me both. And the fire All right, I'll see you. Catch you later, buddy. And my dear, we're still goodbye. But as long as you love me so, let it snow, let it snow and snow. Vito, come on. Ah, uh, hello, Mrs. Uh... Vito? It and is you. You look night. so handsome in that oh, uniform. Your mother must storm. be so proud. Really uh... And what about poor Salvatore Montemaggiore? How's he doing? His poor mother was expecting him home a week ago. Why don't you come inside and have some tea with me, Vito? You could tell me all about it. Thanks, but I'm kind of in a hurry. Uh, I just got back, and I can't wait to see my mother and Frankie. Such a pretty girl, that Francesca. It's a wonder she's not married yet. Well, say hello to your mother for me, Vito. Hi, Mama. I'm back. Vito. Vito, my boy. <laughs> my boy is home. I thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Francesca and me, we wait. Hey, sis, what's going and on? We wait for you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Sit down, sit down. You must be hungry, Vito. Francesca made you a special dinner. Zuppa di pollo. It's good for you. Looks good, Frankie. It's a shame your papa didn't live to see this. He would be so proud, Vito. Yeah, sure. Vito, you know better. Sorry, Mama, sorry. Benice, signore, pronunciata, che porta la volontà. Stiamo ricevendo, provvedere a quello che ci viene You should get some sleep. Your room is just like you left it. I'll see you two in the morning. Sleep well, mio bambino. This ain't gonna cut it. I gotta find a place to stay. Actually, uh, looks like I won't. Uh, Joe's taking care of it for me. Joe! You want to get into trouble again? Mama, would you rather me go back and get shot again? No. Exactly. No. 
which will probably save my life. Promise that you won't get in any more trouble with that, Joe. You know, your papa used to work for this man at the waterfront named Papa Lardo. He's in the union. You could talk to him, work hard like you were your papa. Talk to him. Please, promise me you go talk to him today. Okay, Mama, okay, I promise. Grazie, Dio. I don't give I'm a sorry. damn. I don't care we'll if you gotta money. sell hey, everything you got. What the hell's going on here? Vito! You mind your business, no. asshole. Oh, yeah? yeah? Come on, Junior. I'm gonna take you to school. Oh, tough guy. Scaring a woman, huh? Come on. Show me what you got. Vito, please. You're making it even uh. worse. That's right, get the fuck out of here! You're gonna be sorry! The both of you! What the hell was that all about? I'm sorry, Vito. We didn't want to bother you with this. Bother me? Bother me with what? Come on, tell me what's going on here, Frankie. Right before he died, Papa borrowed money. A lot of money, from a loan shark. Thinking he'd get a better job and pay him back. We found out right after you left for the war. How much? Two thousand dollars. What? Shit. The worst thing is, this guy wants it all back by the end of this week. Otherwise, the debt goes up again. I ain't gonna make that kind of money working at the port. Who is this guy? I don't know. Mama won't tell me. It's okay, Vito. We'll manage somehow. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. I promise. Thanks, Vito. Take care of yourself. I gotta get my hands on two grand fast. I bet Joe could help me out. Same as when you asked me ten seconds ago. <sighs> Crying out loud. What the
Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, uh, do you know where Joe Barbro lives? To the right of the stairs. And tell him that racket last night has to stop. If he don't like it, he can find another place to live. on my way back from the store. I've been waiting. All right, girls, that's it for now. I got business. Stop by tomorrow, okay? We'll pick up where we left off. Chop, chop. Come on, Joey. They made him stop and we can all have fun. The fun's over, baby. Later, I said. Me and Vito here haven't seen each other for a long time. We got a lot of catching up to do. Looks like you're doing okay, Joey boy. Not bad. I tell you, that little Spanish broad is fucking wild. So how'd it go at home? Good. Mama wasn't thrilled when I mentioned your name, though. And you know how she is. She wants me to get a straight job. You're gonna look for one? I don't know, but I sure as hell ain't gonna make the same mistake my own man did. I gotta pay off his debts, then get back on my feet and get my own place. I need to make some real money, and punching the clock ain't gonna cut it. Hey, you could stay with me as long as you need to, and we'll find you a job where you can make good money without killing yourself, all right? Music to my ears. Right now, I'm living off the 20 bucks the state gives me every week. <laughs> I know lots of people who pay well for a risky job, so to speak. I'm sure I can line something up for my oldest friend. The working man's a sucker, that's for damn sure. You said it. Okay, step one. I gotta introduce you to Giuseppe so we can pick up them discharge papers. Let's go. You made enough cash for all this in the last three years? More like the last three months. I barely had time to pray. Three months? Holy shit. You just gotta know the right people, and you're all set. Cause you know me. This? You got your own phone? Yeah, and now you do too. Can't do business without it these days. So you thought about what you're gonna do now? You said you were gonna introduce me to that guy Giuseppe. No, 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 no. I meant, you know, the big picture. When you was over there, didn't you think about what you was gonna do when you got back? No, not really. Well, besides the usual, you know. Find a nice girl, settle down. Whoa. Hey, there's gonna be plenty of time for that shit later. Right now, I'm gonna make sure you live a little. Hey, uh... Thanks again for that thing with the discharge papers. Hey, all I do is make a phone call. You can thank Giuseppe when we go pick him up. Could, uh... What? Drive, Vito? The roads are icy. You ain't never drove a car before. Joe, I was driving almost the whole time I was over there. Yeah, but this ain't no tank, Vito. This is one of the nicest cars money can buy. I didn't drive a tank. I drove a Jeep. What the hell's a Jeep? It's, uh... Never mind. It, you're gonna let me drive away. All right, all right. Here's the keys. Just be fucking careful. All right, when it's cold as fuck outside, you gotta give it a little more gas than usual. That's the pedal over there on the right. I know, Joe, I know.
Okay, now make a right here. Then just go straight for a while. Some idiot just drove into us. We're bringing them in. Roger that. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow it down a bit. No need to get pulled over for no reason. Hey, Vito, you know what time it is? It's daytime. I'll fuck shit up. It's time for you to get your own fucking car. Yeah, I'd love to if I could afford one. Who says you're gonna pay for it? You wasn't kidding. They really taught you to drive over right there. Yeah. At least some of them out of it. Get a load of that baby. Nice. That's a 42 Jefferson. Beautiful car like that would be a shame to smash the window. You should grab yourself some lockpicks over at Giuseppe's. <laughs> 